What's up guys, this is Cheese Puff Learns and welcome to my book review on Make Time. The purpose of Make Time by Jake Knapp and John Zarodsky is to become more self-aware of your day-to-day -day actions and your environment in order to not live in autopilot mode. This book tries to give a solution to that and tries to make you become more fulfilled at the end of the day. To explain why we live in autopilot mode and everything feels like a blur, Jake Knapp and Zon Saratsky use the examples of the busy bandwagon and the infinity pools. The busy bandwagon is the idea that we need to have something to do or else we will fall behind in society. Infinity pools represent the infinite amount of content that can always distract you. Examples of this are YouTube and the news. In order to combat these two evils, the busy bandwagon and infinity pools, Make Time suggests these four principles, la highlight, laser, energize, and reflect. The principle of highlight is to choose a single activity to prioritize and protect in your calendar. The authors of this book emphasize that you need to have one thing, not two, not three, but one thing to remember at the end of each day. By doing this, you turn off autopilot mode and become more happy with how your day turned out to be. The concept of laser is to adjust your technology so that you can find laser mode or basically find a state of flow. By doing this, you make sure that you create space and time for your highlight and everything else you need to do in your busy day. The concept of energize is to make sure that your body and mind are well rested. Everyone knows that good health equals a happier and a more productive life. Finally, reflect. Basically, it's taking notes on how your day went. It'll make sense when I explain the structure later. However, it is important to keep in mind that this is one of the most important aspects of the four principles because it will tell you whether your highlights, your laser, or your energized tactics are working. When trying to implement these ideas or these four principles, the book provides you with numerous and different types of tactics. So in, in order to filter through all of these, the author suggests to pick, test, and repeat. The book is structured so that each category, highlight, laser, energize, has multiple tactics to choose from. And every day, they suggest you choose one from each and reflect on how that thing went. Then, the next day, you start over and repeat the same tactic or choose a new one if that didn't work out. When choosing your highlight, the authors have three categories that they suggest you look into. The first is urgency. What task has to be done first? If you must do something today, make it your highlight. Some examples from the book are prepare and cook dinner before friends come over or create a pr price quote and send it to a customer who's expecting it before the end of the week. Satisfaction. When I look back on this day, what will make me the most satisfied? They suggest trying out a new project that you, haven't, that you never had time for. Examples from the book are Finish a proposal for a new work project you're excited about and share it with a few trusted colleagues. Or, draft 1,500 words of the next chapter in your novel. Joy. What will make me happy? It doesn't matter if you think it isn't productive or it isn't some type of work. As long as you spend your time intentionally, your day will become much more pleasing and your life will become much more satisfactory. There are so many productivity tips that could be squeezed into this video or the book. However, the basic idea behind it is to create barriers to prevent distractions. Whether it be turning off the Wi-Fi or logging out of social media, if you can find a solution that makes it difficult to get distracted, go ahead and use it to the fullest extent. In terms of tips and tricks for energizing, they, the authors suggest if you want energy for your brain, you need to take care of your body. The book makes you imagine your life as a caveman, and the main principles are keep moving, eat real food, optimize caffeine, 
go off the grid, make it personal, sleep in a cave. You can pause the video and look through those types of principles and see which one is most relevant to you and try to find a solution. Finding a healthy sleep, exercise, and caffeine schedule will ultimately improve your quality of life and productivity. In terms of reflecting, the authors have provided a framework for everyone to use, and you can find that in the video description. But apart from that, the main idea of reflecting is to observe your life. Guess why you do what you do. Experiment to see if you can change your habits. Measure and see if your experiment to change your habits worked and remembering to take notes. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you.